accounting entries bill payable is honored so now we will discuss accounting entries in the books of the person who has made the promise to pay or who has accepted a bill of exchange in his books it is a payable and it's recorded as a bills payable what are the accounting entries accounting entries in this case arise one when he accepts the bill or makes the promise and two on maturity assuming that it is honored the bill or promissory note is honored on accepting of the bill of exchange or issuing a promissory note that is when he makes the promise or accepts a bill of exchange entry would be creditor account debit to bills payable creditor account debit to bills payable this arises usually in the buyer's books when he bought goods he had already passed an entry purchase account debit to creditor to settle this account of the creditor he says creditor account debit to bills payable on maturity when the bill is honored that is he makes a payment on the bill the entry would be bills payable account debit to cash bills payable account debit to cash if the bill is dishonored what would be the entry if the bill is dishonored on acceptance of the bill as said before creditor account debit to bills payable that is when he has accepted the bill or issued a promissory note if this bill is dishonored if this bill is dishonored and noting charges are incurred let us say the bill amount was rupees 10000 and let us say the noting charges are rupees 100 if this is the case who incurs the noting charges the noting charges would be paid by whoever presented the bill it might have been x it might have been z it might have been the bank we are continuing with our example of where x sold goods to y y issued a promissory note or y accepted the bill of exchange and we are passing entries in the books of y so the moment y accepted the bill of exchange y passed the entry x account debit to bills payable x being the creditor on dishonor of the bill now x will have to be repaid so x account has to be credited let's say this is x's account credited with what not only the bill amount also the noting charges which x must have paid to the notary public the bills payable is cancelled it the date is expired he has not honored it so bills payable account is debited with the bill amount noting charges this is an expense it is an expense in the books of y because y is responsible for the dishonor because y is responsible for the dishonor so noting charges as an expense is recorded only in the books of the person responsible for the dishonor the actual expense may have been paid by x it is paid by whoever presents the bill for payment so bills payable account the account on dishonor of a bill in the books of y would be bills payable account debit with the bill amount noting charges debit with the noting charges to x's account with the bill amount and the noting charges <clears throat> mind you this would be the entry irrespective of what x does with the bill x might retain it x might hand it over to z x might have got it discounted with the bank that is entirely in the books of x and y does not have to pass any entries for what x does with this bill of exchange the entry on dishonor irrespective of what x does with the bill would be the same bills payable debit with the bill amount noting charges debit with the noting charges to x's account with the bill amount and noting charges 
Let us pass certain journal entries. Bills payable, dishonored. Ram sells goods to Sham for rupees 10,000. Ram draws a bill of exchange for 10,000, duly accepted by Sham. Pass journal entries in the books of Sham, assuming the bill is dishonored and noting charges of 50 were incurred. A. The bill is held till maturity. B. It is discounted with the bank at 2% and C. The bill is endorsed to Ganesh. Frankly, this A, B, C does not make a difference when we are passing entries in the books of Shah. The entries would be the same whether the case is A, B or C. The difference in accounting entries is only in the books of Ram, not in the books of Shah. So this is the same example, but now we will pass entries in the books of Shah. So first entry, Ram sells goods to Sham. Sham has bought the goods and therefore the entry in Sham's account books is purchase account debit to Ram. Amount of 10,000 first. Next, Ram has drawn a bill and Sham has accepted a bill. Since Sham has accepted the bill, it is a bills payable in Sham's book. Bills payable is a liability we will credit bills payable we have given this to ram so ram's account debit to bills payable so with this bill payable sham has settled his liability for the credit purchase however on the date of maturity the bill is dishonored noting charges of 50 are incurred so, Ram would have presented the bill, incurred charges of 50 and now told Shyam that he needs to pay 10,000 plus 50 noting charges. What would be the entry therefore? The bill is cancelled. So, bills payable account debit to Ram. Bills payable account is debited for 10,000, but Ram has to be paid 10,050. The difference is noting charges. Noting charges will be recorded as an expense in the books of Sham. Since Sham is responsible for the dishonor. So the entry is bills payable account debit 10,000. Noting charges account debit 50 to Ram 10,050.